everybody to the 2022 Kia Telluride. This car created waves of excitement when it was launched. Is it still relevant? I think so. Let's see how this car is. The front end of the Kia Telluride is quite different. It's got amber DRLs which make it stand out on the road. I mean, not many cars have amber DRLs. They look really, really good. And I like the Kia family grille that is on the car and the fog lights positioning on the bottom. I think it's very well integrated. It's got cladding to give it that, you know, rugged crossover credentials. But I think Kia has done a really good job with designing this car and it looks quite differently distinct to the Hyundai profile of the Telluride is very clean. There are not too many cuts and creases going on, but it's got some distinct features. Firstly, the 20 inch alloys, they look really, really good. And it's got chrome line running across the windows and it actually has a sort of a kink and the pillars, the B pillar, which I think it looks really, really good. Again, it's got cladding on the side to give it that, you know, that crossover ruggedness look, which even the rear has. Again, not much going on, but it's simple and nice. Good job by Kia. The rear of the Telluride is fairly simple. It's got vertical tail lights, which is something I would say pretty unique. I mean, you don't see any other cars with vertical tail lights. It's got very minimalistic badging. So it's only got Kia badging and the all wheel drive badging. Pre 2022 cars used to have the variant badging as well. So SX, which is the variant of this car would be badged there. But for 2022, they've gotten rid of it. They've got very big cladding in the back and I like the twin exhaust pipes that are sticking out. They're functional and they look really, really good. Now I'm inside the Kia Telluride and I can immediately tell you that it's a lovely place to be. Everything you touch and feel feels very, very premium. There's got, you've got nice sort of dark ash wood here. You've got leather everywhere else you touch. You've got this nice grab handles and you've got the heated seats, cool seats button on it. There's lots of leather on the door pads and the wood finish as well. The whole steering is very nicely wrapped in the leather. Also more leather here. There's gloss black on the center console and a little bit on the steering wheel as well. Uh, quite a bit of a fingerprint magnet if you ask me. But again, everything you touch and feel holds I mean, it feels really, really nice. There's a host of buttons on the steering wheel uh, for the cruise control and, you know, going through the MID because this is a part digital, part analog setup for the speedometer. You have the 10-inch screen, which has uh, wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but it's really fluid and it shows, it's very, it's very crisp. The details are very crisp and anything you see is visible even in direct sunlight. You've got the AC controls, which again, they have this, you know, this aluminum finish, which goes all through the dash. Feels very good. And one point I need to really compliment is the seats. The seats are extremely comfortable. They're adjustable for lumbar, height, everything. And you've got extendable, you know, seat extenders as well. And the headrests are really, really soft. This car is built for long drives. I'm now in the middle row of the Telluride. And as you can see, there is no shortage of space. I am five foot eight. And this driving seat is set for my position. As you can see, I have ample legroom I have ample headroom and there is no shortage of space. I've moved this seat forward. In fact, this seat is actually a little bit more backwards and you can see there's too much space. I mean, you don't need this much space. You've got two cup holders and you've actually got USB charging ports on the seats. That's really, really cool. You've got a really, really big sunroof in the back as well, which has closing and opening blinds. And you've got rear AC controls as well. You've got vents up here. Again. It's a great place to be and there's just ample of space, no shortage. You've also got a plug point which you can plug in your phones, laptop, anything you can work. Kia has you covered. Anything you need to do, you can just do it here. There's just no shortage of space. So now I'm in the third row of the Telluride and as you can see, I don't have shortage of space. I've got a lot of headroom and I've got a lot of knee room. The backrest is a little on the too upright but I think I can sit here for some time. I mean, that's commendable for an adult to sit in the third row comfortably. I'm behind the wheel of the 2022 Kia Telluride. Uh, just to get the numbers out of the way, this has a 3.8 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine that produces about 290 horsepower. It's made it to an eight speed gearbox and it weighs quite a lot. It's at about 1.9 tons, almost two tons. 
keeping the weight in mind, it still does a respectable 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in under 7 seconds, almost 6.5 seconds. I think that's pretty commendable. Let's see how this car drives though. Slot the gear lever into D and you just set off and it has quite very, very good low end torque. You know, you hardly have to mash your foot to get up to any good speeds. I have not yet even you know, press the accelerator more than 20% yet. And it's already up to, you know, cruising speeds in city, you know, city speed limits and all. It's actually really, really convenient. And then when you take a turn, then you'll notice that the MID in between becomes a blind spot camera. So there are cameras mounted on each side of the mirrors and it's really helpful for, you know, uh, maneuvering this vehicle in tight traffic situations or parking. It actually makes it really, really easy. And as you can see, I just went over a bump. The ride is so good. Even though this car is running on 20 inch rims, the sidewall is so thick that you can go onto bumps and you won't feel anything. It's actually really, really commendable that how this car rides. Again, just adds up to the further factor which I said earlier that this car is such an ultimate cruising machine. You know, you can just do hundreds of kilometers per day and you won't even feel tired the seats are good no doubt but it is also because of the ride it's so so good the steering feel is again it's uh, very nice it's really light at city speeds so it's very easy to park or maneuver this vehicle you know uh, in tight spaces and it weighs up adequately uh, when speeds build up as well so that's again a very very good bonus thing this is just maneuvering some potholes just a thud that's it you, nothing more will creep into the cabin that's how good and also the insulation is really good from the noise so you don't hear anything there's a bit of wind noise you can hear from the pillar area but again it's very very nice very very cozy very comfortable and i feel like these attributes just make it just that much better of a cruiser and i'm personally a big fan with the way this car drives and you know uh, rides the engine it's very punchy the gearbox is very alert so it's always eager to downshift whenever you want to just you know kick down and it's got pretty good grunt i mean whenever you floor it you will always have enough grunt you know if i just floor it see just downshift and it floors and i'm in eco mode right now there are several driving modes so i can put into sport smart comfort and it just works you know this car just works and I love that about this vehicle. It just does it all. In conclusion then, the Kia Telluride. Well, where do I start? I personally believe this vehicle can do it all. It looks really good. It drives really well. It's extremely spacious and it's got all the kit you need. Oh, did I mention it's value for money as well? At around $55,000 Canadian, the top model SX Plus, it's the bargain of the century and you can see why this vehicle has such long waiting periods. Anybody would want this vehicle. If you drive it, if you've test driven it, it's so desirable. It can do it all. I mean, I would totally, for one, buy this vehicle if I was in the market for a car for my family or maybe the one car garage that would do it all. That's how impressive it is. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.